Hi and welcome to the Lego Technic Designer Workshop. My name is Jeppe and today I'm going to show you the Class Syrian 5000 tractor. With me today is also Michael from the design team. He's going to share some of his experiences while developing this model. So Michael, there's a very special function in this one yes. that, is, that is unique to this model. What is that? That is the steering. Uh, we have three different steering modes on this one. <clears throat> the one chosen right now is the normal front wheel steering, where it only steers on the front wheels. Then we have the four wheel steering, where it actually steers on all four wheels for achieving a very uh, small turning radius. And then the special one is the last one, the crab steering, where you actually, the back and front wheels, they turn in the same direction, so it goes more or less sideways, actually. That's a very special way of steering. Why do they need that? They do it uh, if in real life they're going out on a soft surface, then to divide out the weight on such a, a big area as possible. Then when you do it like this, then you actually have four different rows that the tires go in. So it's to divide out the, the load on. Have we ever done that before? No, nope, not to my knowledge. And uh, I think uh, this is, uh, there was a, a, a challenging task to, to get into a, a Lego Technic model, but it was really interesting and funny to finally, when, when, when we succeeded, it was really a, a nice feeling to have made this, the three di different steering systems in the same model. So on the, the other side of uh, the machine, you have the controls. What do they control? This one is uh, the rotation of the cabin, and this one is the power takeout. So we turn it on, we can see underneath that uh, just like a real tractor. Yeah. This is actually the power takeout. This is the power takeout for the crane in this model. So, okay, I need to try this. So, taking it down like this. I just wanna this. Yeah, all the way and opening the grab. Now, as I understand it, you can also detach the tools, the crane and the front weights to actually rebuild it into something else. Yes. You can make a, if you take these two off, do like this. And then and it rebuilds into a... Uh, rebuilds into... The blade. Blade. <clears throat> yeah, the dozer blade is uh, powered by the power function here, so you can unfold it. During transportation, you have it folded up so it takes up less space. And when you reach your destination, you fold it out and then you can lower the blade and you can angle it depending on your approach on whatever you're moving. So now you've got... And of course, instead of going backwards, then you can also reverse your cabin so you have a much better view of what you're working with. And then suddenly the driver is facing the right way when they're using the dozer blade. Does that only go in the back? No, actually, if you prefer it in the front, then uh, also you can attach it there because uh, the power... Well, the power takeout goes all the way. Yes. So you both have power in the front and, and in, in the, the back. back. Yes. So thank you for showing us, Michael. Thank you for telling us about how the development uh, went with this model. And for the viewer, just imagine what you could build, what kind of tool or attachment you could put onto that tractor. You can use these brakes and your own brakes. So happy building and until next time, take care.